Hello everybody, here's my mama and this is my Aunt Annie and they're going to be making a banana split for y'all today I and mean, here's all the ingredients, everything that you'll need. A lot of this stuff is optional but I'll let them explain it to you and show you everything that you need and they're going to walk you through it, how to make a banana split. Yeah, uh, now I remember the old timey how we used to do it, how they used to do it at the Dairy Queens and things when Min Mint was dating. But Annie don't like pineapples and all that stuff so she's going to be doing it her way. So uh, we start off with, you, you have to get your ice cream. And she said, well, why do we have to have three colors? Well, that's what we used to have. Do y'all remember the uh, banana spits that you used to get? So the three colors, the, the Napoleon, is that what it's called? Neapolitan. 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 So, and what we're going to do is I'm going to get my chocolate. I always thought you are supposed to cut the bananas first. Yeah, I oh, you are. And you put them on each side. You are. So, you know what? We want to cut the banana first. Come on, Annie. <laughs> now you can tell how long it's been since I had a banana split. <laughs> I think we done it with the kids one time, our youth group. We had a banana split. I got these so you can cut your banana on it. Oh, no. You got to stir all your spills no, on there. I'm just going to peel it down like this. You just peel it just... down the side, down the side, down the middle. And you put it on each side of your plate. And you put it in like this on each side. Oh, so it just takes a one banana for each. Yeah. If it'll stay up there. And you just put See? half on each side. Yeah, half on each side. You got it? I'm happy. <laughs> Have you got it? You, oh, you want to do it like that. You can do it like that. There it is. Okay, then I, I get my chocolate. I want another scoop of chocolate. And we'll put it right here. It's a little bit melted because we just got back from Beckley and it's a road all the way back from Beckley. So it's not uh, fully frozen. I need water to dip it in, but I, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to, and here's my vanilla. And Let's, we put it in there. You've got one scoop of chocolate, one scoop of vanilla. I'm going to put two scoops of vanilla because these are big bowls. Yeah. And then my strawberry. We'll get my strawberry in here. This is just, this is just really a memory. You know, when Min Milton used to date. And here's ice cream for you. Paper towels, this one's gonna be a messy one. Which one you want to use, the little one? Yeah, because that's a lot of ice cream for a little banana. Okay. You're gonna do your chocolate first. And maybe uh, one day this week, we're gonna have uh, maybe a wrap, uh, show you how to do the wraps. And then I'm going to show you how to do the Molly Moochers. Molly Moochers. You can, some people call them Morcellas or Morales or Molly Moochers. That's the names for them. I always called them wild fish is what I was always told. Yeah, it smells like a fish. And you just want chocolate, huh? <laughs> no, I'm trying to get the strawberry in the... In you the... have to do this right here. Okay. Is that done or do I put this right here? This is the work? diabetes special. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what it is. Okay, I'm done. You're done. Okay. All right, so that's it for the ice cream. And if you're going to be making this and you, if you just like one type of ice cream, you can just use any type you like. Yeah. But they're using the, the three flavors, the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Yeah, and here... Did you bring the sir chocolate syrup in here? No, not yet, but I'll go get it. Okay. And then, uh, remember years ago, they used to put the uh, uh, crushed pineapple on it. They put the strawberries on it. And they put the cherries on it. You know, the cherries, the pineapple, and the strawberries. But she said she didn't like none of that. She I'll, do like the the straw banana. I'll do the strawberries and the cherries. Okay. There's enough for. Oh, well, yeah. Don't squirt on there. That's plenty. Okay. Next, we're gonna. Well, let's do the. Do the. No, you do that last. Oh. 
So I got my spoon. You got your spoon, but you don't want none of this, do you? No, not really. Okay, this went on the vanilla that I remember. That's a crushed pineapples, and it was drained yeah. or strained. Yeah, all the liquids out of it. Uh, you want a strawberry, right? Yeah. Okay, you do the strawberry on the. You want the big one or a little? Doesn't matter, just whatever. There's your big one. What do you do? Cut it. Cut this off from it and just slice it into your strawberry ice cream. Annie's is just kind of all mixed because it got a little messed up yeah. whenever, whenever you scoop, so it's hard to get one of each color. So. Yeah, and you cut your strawberry how you want. And so I'm gonna put my. Stressing me out watching you with the knife. <laughs> I, am, I am good with knives. Leave me alone. I've only cut myself about 300 times. Okay. I feel and, like I'm about to get cut and I'm not even holding the knife. And we didn't do this, but uh, Corey gave me a Hershey kiss. <laughs> so, oh, so yeah. We'll put that on the chocolate. Ice cream. Hey, Annie's got uh, okay. a few candies here. Kit Kats, <laughs> a little Rollos. I don't know how to... Th this is a new invention here. I have never seen a um, banana split with candy all over it. Uh, so Mama's got uh, strawberries on her strawberry. She's got pineapples on her uh, vanilla. vanilla. And she's got a Hershey's Kiss on her straw on her chocolate. And then you top the pizza. I thought it was pizza. Little thing, pill in, pill in there, but it, and then, oh, yes. where's the, oh, I'm going to take your spoon. Where's the other spoon? I think it's in this, probably. Oh, yeah, let me get, take this one. And then, you top it off with one cherry on top. Do y'all remember this? You like the cherries? Not really, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> you got to have a cherry on top. It's mandatory. I'll take it out whenever... Okay. Let me show them the cherries. These are maraschino cherries. I don't know how to pronounce this word. I want to do it first. There's no stems on them, but you can get them with stems too, either way. I am. And then we drizzled it. This and is the, a and Hershey's chocolate syrup. Hey, Milton. Yeah. Uh, go in there in my room on the chest and get that caramel. It's a, it's a jar of it. And, it, it. Well, yeah. Don't you remember? He, Milton don't remember. So, and then we just drizzle this right on it. Well, come on now. Annie, you took all the chocolate. I barely took any. <laughs> we do that. And, and then just a minute, Milton's bringing the, the caramel. And they used to put that on it, too. You remember, Milton? Do you remember now? He don't remember. I used to order this. <laughs> He's opened the, the caramel. I'm supposed to dip apples in it, but yeah, there's a knife here to cut it. All right, that looks good. That's diabetes for you. <laughs> yeah, if there's. Diabetic home for you. Uh, if there's anybody that don't have diabetes, just make, <laughs> make some of this and it'll fix you right up. Give you diabetes and a heartbeat. And then you could take some of this. Oh, this ain't soft enough. I was going to try to drizzle it. but Might have to heat it up a little bit if you was going to drizzle it. Yeah. So I just put some right there. I was going to drizzle it, but I can't drizzle it. But it still tastes good. I like this. And he loves caramel too. Do you want some caramel? Yeah, I'll, I'll take some. You want to use my spoon? I guess, or I can just use my spoon. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, this is Annie. She's the one I I've been telling you about. She went to Shriners Hospital when she was a baby. She went there for about 14 years. Okay, that's enough. I don't like caramel. Oh, you gotta eat for your spoon. Um, <laughs> and um, they didn't think she was going to live, but she did. We prayed to God. God gave her to us. So he brought her through all her surgeries and stuff that she went through. So, and here's our ice cream. And I like the pineapples, so I'm going to try my pineapple.
That's what it'll look like after it's fully done. You don't have to put all this stuff on there. Really, you can put anything you want on there. Mm -hmm. But the probably the most crucial ingredient is the banana, the ice cream, and this chocolate syrup to drizzle it on it. And here's this, another thing that we forgot. Oh, yeah, we forgot that. Sour cream, or whipped topping, I mean. Yeah. We're supposed to put a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And then we're supposed to put the cherry on top of the Cool Whip. Yeah, you're supposed <laughs> to put the Cool Whip down first and then the cherry on top of that. Mm -hmm. so she said, I want more. I want more and more. So it's still good. Just mix it all up and eat it. This, this will be a good summer uh, treat. Yeah, and if you got a bunch of little kids, you could just uh, scoop it out of this and put a, a one scoop of it into each bowl for them. So that way this would feed probably two or three kids. Yeah. Or more. Or just get the cone. Get them a cone. Yeah, a little ice cream cone. You could put the, the piece of banana in there and the yeah. chocolate. Okay, I guess we better read now. Is it good? Not particularly. No. No. This, I, this used to be my go-to when we go out to eat. To the Dairy Queen or somewhere. And they had a burger boy. I was going to ask you, how much was in Burger Boys? He's not in there. Uh, I think that was like a penny, ten cents or something like that. It wasn't very much. And I tell you what, I done. I went to Sunday school. I was a mean girl. I wasn't real mean. I just done something a little bit mean, something I didn't tell mom about. So Milton would come to Sunday school too, and then after Sunday school. And I know I shouldn't have done it, but I did. We'd go all the way to Beckley and go to Burger King and Milton would get me a burger. I think there's like 10 cents, maybe not even that much. I can't remember. And then I'd come back home and Mom said, boy, y'all was in Sunday school a long time. She probably already knew. And uh, I said, they preached a long time. <laughs> I was mean, wasn't I? <laughs> and I didn't tell Mom for years about it, you know. But God is good. He took care of us. And we're together today. Been, I started dating when I was 15 or 16, when we started dating. We dated for about a year, and then we got uh, married. Want me to read something to you now? Whenever I was little, we, every time we went to Dairy Queen, Mama would always get the peanut butter parfait <laughs> with no nuts. Yeah. That was like her thing that she would always get. Yep. How much was in burger? Uh, oh, there's pineapples there. On there. How much was in burger, Rob? Uh, Things we used to go get at Burger Boys. Fifteen cents. Fifteen cents. I couldn't remember if it was ten cents. cents. Wasn't very much, was it? You're not even I was telling about menu slipping off from Sunday school and running back and get the hamburger and then come back to mom's. Yeah, I'd like to just been to church. <laughs> yeah, like to church. <laughs> oh Lord, but God washed after us and took care of us, and, you know, and He always will. So. I'm going to be in Psalms 107, and this is Milton's Bible here. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gather them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hunger and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. And that's what he'll do too. And he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of man. For he satisfies the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. He does it all the time. And he took care of me, care of me when I was little. And I know it was, uh, he took care of me and Milton both. I had uh, some kind of blood disease. Uh, wasn't a disease, I don't know what you got. And they thought it was leukemia. But uh, I got better of it. Mom and Dad thought I was going to die. And then that's when I was little. I was about maybe 10, something like that. And then Milton, when he was, how old was you Milton now? Seven, eight? He uh, got a real high fever and he had to be in the hospital. Yeah, I think it's called scarlet fever, ain't it? Yeah. And well, I think back then they didn't really know what it was. 
Uh-huh. But anyway, uh, a big tall man come in one night and prayed, uh, prayed for him, and uh, and Milton prayed with him, and uh, Milton got better. So uh, and then we got together. So God put us together. The devil tried to kill us. That's what he tried to do. But uh, God, he touched us, and we got better, and got uh, started dating, got married, and now we're doing the work for the Lord. God is good all the time. He takes care of his children. You know, even when we didn't know him, he took care of us. So, but he is good. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, let's, let's pray because we always need prayer. Always. We'll just pray one for another because God is good and he does answer prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you this morning, Lord Jesus, thanking you and praising you for your love, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to... Touch our YouTube family, Lord. There's many out there that's in the hospital that's going through testes, Lord. Lord, ask you to touch them, Lord, and Lord, heal them, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord. And the women, Lord, that's uh, having babies and might be having complications or something, we just ask you to touch them, Lord. Lord, you said to ask them, you shall receive, Lord. So we're asking, Lord, especially for that one woman that called in and wanted a prayer for her daughter, Lord Jesus, of her uh, grandbaby. Lord, I ask you to take care of them, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord. Each one, Lord, that has sent in a request here, Lord. We ask you to meet the need, Lord. Well, there's Like Milton says all the time, there's nothing too big and nothing too small that you can't do, Lord. And we thank you for answering prayer, Lord. Have your way in all their lives, Lord. Help us to hang on to you, Lord, and trust in you, Lord. And put the devil under our feet when he tries to come our way to discourage us, Lord. Because, Lord, we know that you love us and you'll take care of us, Lord. Because you're coming back soon, Lord, and we want to be ready to meet you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Love y'all. Y'all take care today. Uh, we had a big old storm a while ago. Milton and Corey was in Beckley. I thought the windows was going to break in the house. Man, you talked about praying now. I started to praying and rebuking the storm. I thought Milton and Corey was out in. I said, Lord, put them in a safe place somewhere. Lord Jesus, don't let them be on a road in this. <laughs> and y'all was in Walmarts, wasn't you? Yeah, by the time we came back out, it had already passed by. Yeah, it just lasts for about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. But it was, I, I, it kind of scared me at first. I mean, I didn't know why in the world. At first, I thought it was a tornado, and then uh, it stopped. Sun come out, and everything's pretty now. <laughs> so, hope y'all have a good day. We're going to have a good day today. And because uh, God always gives us a good day, doesn't he? Love y'all. Y'all take care of yourselves and just trust in the Lord. Whatever you're going through, trust in the Lord. Just talk to him and trust trust in him. He'll take you through anything you have to go through. Love y'all. Well, I guess that's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments if y'all have made this before or if you plan to make it or if you make it any differently or if there's other ingredients that you put in there that, that they didn't put in theirs. Let us know in the comments so we'll uh, know what to use next time. You got anything to say? You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. <laughs> That's the first time she's not talked. <laughs> she's a talker, too. <laughs> love y'all. Well, I guess that's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, but we love y'all. God bless y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen.